Okay, so that was probably like the most insignificant video we've watched all week, right? That means nothing to you, right? Okay, so why does it have 1.4 billion views in 24 hours? Listen to that number. 1.4 billion that's a lot of fucking people not only that this is now the most watched video in under 24 hours discord.com just broke that record and do you want to know how they broke that record they cheated cheated hold on there baldy you never had a chance to defeat me fool and you know why because you cheated what's up boys it's bumpkin welcome back to another one of my videos we did it we're here again if you didn't catch my stream yesterday, I quit for like some hours for the April Fool's joke, of course. Ha, got you. If you weren't there, you missed out. F forget about it, whatever. But I'm not the only one that decided to play pranks yesterday, okay? Discord, they wanted to get in on the jokes with everybody, so they decided to uh, open loot boxes or release loot boxes, I should say. Now, if you're not sure what I mean by that, uh, basically they were gonna put out something that Advanced Warfare basically started you buy supply drops or you buy these little they kind of like csgo cases it's basically gambling and you open them to see what you get and you either get a super awesome super rare item that is pixels or you get a super shit item that is pixels so either way you're just paying for shit on a screen something we're basically all doing at this point but discord wanted to let off the impression that they were trying to capitalize off that the same way advanced warfare has the same way csgo has the same way Apex Legends has, but it was a joke. They're actually all free. Free only on Discord. No, no, fuck, no, 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 holy shit, oh, holy shit, you gotta be kidding me. What the fuck, are you serious? What the hell? I don't, I don't get it, I, I do not get it. I am freaking cursed. I have the curse of the Amelie and the freaking MK14s. What did I do to deserve this? Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah real sad day to be a degenerate but like i said these were all free they didn't actually make them so you had to pay for them you could just open however many you want you even got whatever the fuck this shit is to add to your profile uh, i don't know i'm pretty sure i've seen about seven to ten people with this already which is a little embarrassing because that means you just sat here and spent about 30 minutes opening loot boxes all day on discord but um that's not even really the problem with it honestly if you wanted the clown suit for your profile picture cool knock yourself out but how they let you know about this whole thing in the first place is they basically put up a little news box that usually pops up when something new is out on the app and on there they decided to throw in a uh, video it's a 17 second video we just watched it like two and a half minutes ago i don't know how you'd be able to forget now this video plays over and over and over again right until you close that box so imagine somebody with like, like a third grade reading level reading that entire newsletter it probably took them about three, four, maybe five minutes. Who knows? That means that one person watched the video about 15, 16 times while they were just sitting there reading. And they don't even really know it. Now, typically, someone might call this view botting. The official term is embedding. It's where you just, like, throw a video or a live stream up on a website or anywhere, really, an app, right? And it doesn't matter if you're looking at it or not. As long as you're on the site, your view counts. However many times you watch the video or for however long you're on the website, looking at the stream whatever it may be now i know it seems like minimal effort for an astronomical result well yeah that's because it is and that's why i think youtube's not gonna allow this at least that's what i was gonna say before i realized that it was just sitting on trending for just about the entire 24 hours it's been up along with a college basketball game and skibbity oh, toilet <laughs> with the discord video being number one and it's not even close like nowhere near and i mean this thing really broke a record for real i mean okay so before this came out it was the new gta 6 trailer that had hit the most views in under 24 hours with about 90 million this happened around december i haven't passed a math class since like third second grade and even i know that shit clears 90 million by landslide now the question is is youtube gonna keep this up are they going to filter out the views because typically they kind of crack down on things like this they actually have a set of rules specifically that doesn't really allow this sort of tactic for um getting views especially of this magnitude i mean there's two options they filter it out and we all forget about it within like what a month or two or this record remains unbroken until somebody else decides to start an embed war 
and everyone's just breaking the record constantly and everything's just getting saturated the views don't even make sense anymore you know what i mean personally i think it's pretty cool that a video went this high up in under 24 hours even if it is fake i really wouldn't care if they decided to just chop that shit in half because despite it being probably the most insane april fool's prank on the internet so far it's about loot boxes, it's not even real, and it's Discord. This 17 second video holds absolutely zero significance. There's nothing to gain from it other than the fact that we need to probably fix whatever this issue is. We. YouTube. Hey. Yeah. Your website. It's, uh, it's going through something. You should probably do something about that, yeah? Now, you know, not to be that guy, but of course, they have rules. I'll read them out to you right now. It says here that invalid traffic is any activity on your channel that doesn't come from a real user or a user with genuine interest. It can include fraudulent, artificial, or even unintentional ways to boost ad revenue for videos, among others, including automated or incentivized traffic from third parties, including traffic boosting services and others claiming to be legitimate ad networks, among others. Others. Now, that's the closest thing they have in here to view botting, if you want me to be honest, but uh, this is kind of rocky. And I only say that because in order to really uh, capitalize off of ad revenue for a video, it's got to be at least eight minutes long. You don't really get much if your video is 17 seconds. I'm sure they got plenty still from this video because 1.4 billion, did we forget that? No, like 1.4 billion views jesus christ 1.4 billion on a music video as long as it's monetized that's going to be a pretty hefty sum i'd say somewhere a little over a hundred thousand maybe i'm not too sure all right make maybe five pesos a video um so i'm not really an expert on this but if they didn't make around 40 grand i'd be surprised which leads me to believe they're gonna try to crack down on this as fast and as hard as they possibly can because that's money out of youtube's pocket they don't want that to happen. People figure out this whole embed thing and this whole let's get 2 trillion views tonight before they fix this issue. They're going to have a really hard time profiting for the year. Maybe. I mean, that's if somebody figures this whole thing out before they do. But you know, it doesn't seem too likely because this is a multi-billion dollar company that has multiple people working for it. And not just multiple, I mean like hundreds all right, they have a headquarters. If they can't figure this out before the year ends, they're gonna need to start hiring some new people, you know what I mean? You know, filter out the lazy fucks for somebody a little better. Where's Felicity Smoke when you need her? Now, in a situation like this, you know, who does Discord blame? Who do they hold accountable? Well, no one, really. I mean, they typically blame their little mascot that they used to have, Wumpus, yet... Apparently, this isn't his fault either. And I mean, they kind of took Wumpus off of the face of Discord to kind of give it a more serious vibe, you know what I mean? Like, they updated the whole thing to make it look more serious. This company doesn't have a serious bone in its body. I mean, I don't think they're... <laughs> I don't think they're even going to face repercussions, to be honest. Besides for maybe the video getting deleted and a slap on the wrist, don't do it again. Which isn't bad. I don't think they deserve any real punishment for this. It was clearly an accident. If it was on purpose, they would have already done this a long time ago. Let's be real. This honestly shows me that I really shouldn't have any sort of power. I would shitpost the weirdest shit and just have everybody watch it. Billions of views, number one on trending. Couldn't imagine if someone managed to get access to this that shouldn't and just started throwing up something crazy. Maybe they'll promote Bitcoin like they tried to do with the GTA trailer. You guys remember that? I don't even know if that's possible. I'm just a retard with a microphone. All right, don't take me too serious. That's really all I wanted to talk about for today. This wasn't even gonna be the original video, but I just thought this was insane. Uh, maybe next video, I'll talk about my idol, John Quinones. What would you do as returned? I don't know if you knew already, and I'm literally his biggest fan, so you know we're gonna watch that at one point or another. I haven't made her, like, real reaction commentary video in a minute either. So you guys make sure you tune into that. And on that note, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and also be sure to comment down below so I can go hard it. While you're ready, go follow my Instagram and my Twitter. And you guys have a wonderful day. Peace, peace.